Labor Day is often considered the unofficial end of summer, but as the name suggests, the day is really meant to celebrate American labor. In our top story tonight, WAT6 on your side reporter Molly O'Brien breaks down the history of Labor Day and how it has grown throughout the years. Back in 1894, President Grover Cleveland signed a law making Labor Day a federal holiday. The purpose is to celebrate the achievements of American workers. Prior to Labor Day becoming a federal holiday, the Central Labor Union held the first celebration in 1882 in New York City. The role of unions growing throughout the years. Really important for working people to be able to, you know, organize collectively for better working conditions and better pay, and that's what they've done throughout history, and that's what, you know, especially in this area, um, there's a lot of history for a lot of the local unions here. And um, yeah, just being able to have a say in your workplace and, you know, in your conditions of work and benefits and everything like that. As for rules surrounding unions, that can vary state by state. Tennessee is a right to work state and has been since 1947. Just last year, Tennessee voters approved an amendment that added a right to work provision to the state's constitution. Right to work is you don't have to participate in a union if it represents you. So basically it just drains us of our resources and everything. So we can be getting you this awesome collective bargaining agreement where you get all these great benefits, but people can just opt out and basically work at that and enjoy all the benefits of it without having to chip in at all. As history shows, unions continue to change and grow across the country. Hoff remains optimistic of the future surrounding labor unions right here in East Tennessee. There's a lot of union organizing in town. There's the, the solar workers, there's the McKay's workers, the Starbucks workers. They have several stores now. Um, I'm really you know, excited about the future. I think we're going to continue to grow, get more union density in Tennessee and, and just better, better lives for workers. In Knoxville, Molly O'Brien, WATE 6 on your side. Molly, thank you. Now, according to the National Right to Work Legal Defense Foundation, 27 states, including Tennessee, are right to work states.